and to understand what evil is. And therefore, it's a teaching or a learning process. To live in the Garden of Eden, and that's all you know, is, you know, sublime happiness. I mean, don't say anything, but the people have enough tsaris without keeping their children being taken from them and smashed against the wall. I mean, I'm not sure that we have the only way to learn that is through this particular horror of torture that's in, unbearable and, un, un, you know, it's hard, hard for us to look at me and think about it. And to the point that this wonderful young lady here is saying that it's hard to believe that God was involved in that at all. I mean, why, why is it God, we say compassion, compassion, compassion is God, would be involved in that. It doesn't, it doesn't, that's the point that she was making. Well, then, doesn't that speak to the fact that maybe there is an alternate to God that's evil? Another, another God is evil? Another, whatever. I'm not, not sure what's We don't, we don't believe there's another God. I know. I, I rather, I rather, right. you, I rather remain with the question right. and say, I don't know. And I don't think it's fair for anybody to give an answer because it kind of, it just, it makes an indictment on everybody when you say, this is the reason. Jews didn't do this properly. Jews didn't do this. I remember somebody was saying that the reason why 9-11 happened was because men were not, were not being acting properly to women in the office by calling them the first name. That's why God punished them. I mean, who knows? So I came back and I was coming back from somewhere and I had to give a class. I changed my whole class just to tell them that it's impossible to know why God let it happen. Again, I'm not going to say he made it happen, but he let it happen. Right. Why God let it happen. Because man has free choice, and that's what she's saying. Man has free choices. Man against man tends to... People could choose what they want to choose. But God allowed it. Now, little babies to be tortured. Right? Now, why he did that is beyond us. So, in a certain sense, we believe that God chose not to intervene. Yeah. And we don't know why he chose that to intervene, but he, he, that's what he chose. No, I'm only questioning, I'm only trying to put a, an answer to the why. Okay. In that, if you don't know evil, then... We can't, we can't, we can't believe in a second God. No, no, absolutely not. Absolutely not. Amen. Okay. Uh, What's your name? Uh, Bob. Bob, okay. Bob Young, probably the oldest guy. <laughs> um, uh, it's hard to phrase the question. We all, we all, people who anybody that lives for any length of time has nachos. They have horrors in their life. That we all have, you know, horrible pain, horrible, you know, things happen, and wonderful joy, and and all of these things happen to us. So. Uh, no matter who you are, I don't care if you're, you know, like Rich's Rockefeller, you still, you still have problems. Now, assume that I'm not, you know, I didn't go to Hader, I wasn't born misfit, I didn't, you know, wasn't aware of all these things. I'm just a guy that walked in from nowhere. Okay, now you've spent this whole time telling me why we should not disbelieve or not forget about God because of all of these horrors that happened during the Holocaust or previously or anything else. Uh, but since we all undergo, everybody in the world undergoes the both sides, we undergo good and evil, why should we believe in God? Just because? Because you're I'm an educated man? Because. because you say so? I'm saying, what is the reason not to believe in God? That's exactly what I'm saying. You're saying, what is the reason not to believe in God? I am saying, put it the other way. What is the reason to believe in God? Well, that's a different question. It's totally it, Absolutely it, a different question. I mean, it's a whole different subject, because why to believe in God has nothing to do with evil or good. I mean, there are other reasons to believe in God as the creator of the universe and so on and so forth. But choose the word belief. There is no way to know who God is. Or what God is, right? I and I never will tell you that I have seven proofs or twenty proofs or eighteen proofs of God's I agree. existence. Okay. It's a belief. And a belief by definition means It's faith. Yeah, you, you, you could say that since I don't, if I don't see God, I believe, believe in God is knowing God. I, some people believe, you know, I want to see it. I want to see God.